All right, what's going on guys? Willis here back with another Destiny 2 video. Real quick before this video begins, guys, obviously I'm still running the giveaway for the Beyond Light DLC. We also threw in some silver, so definitely leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below telling me if you guys done the raid yet, if so, what weapons have you guys got? Let's try and reach 2000 likes on this video. Like I said, we threw in some silver for this giveaway. So if you're looking for anything on the Eververs store, this is the place. If you want to join that uh, giveaway, join the discord discord.gg slash willis but yeah uh, in this video i want to show you guys a pretty cool thing you can do in the deep stone crypt right now uh to essentially farm the raid spoils now the raid spoils are pretty much used to open up i guess let's call it the vendor chest at the end you pretty much can use it to obviously re-roll your or well, not really re-roll sort of buy new rolls for the raid weapons you can also use it to buy stuff that you're missing so the missing packages and honestly, it's just a really good resource to have as well, because by doing this, you can pretty much get a lot of it. So yeah, obviously we want to be going into the Deepstone Crypt. And if you can, try and get a checkpoint for the first encounter, the Crypt Security, um, because this is what we're actually going to be farming, because by far it is the fastest, I think, to farm the most amount of raid spoils. So if you can, have everybody on a Xenophage and maybe a shotgun if they don't have a Xenophage. And pretty much you want to do the encounter as normal. I'm not honestly not going to explain the entire thing because there's plenty of guys out there. And if you actually do it correctly and quickly, you're actually able to get all of the crypt. I guess let's call them fuses at once. Finishing this encounter super quick. Now, obviously, it does help to have a xenophage because obviously it just does raw damage. If you don't have a xenophage, like having a shotgun, um, I've heard that fourth horseman works really well as well if you don't have xenophage. But I've put both perspectives of the operator, or I guess the scanner in the bottom. He will basically call out which ones to shoot at. And then obviously the teams on either side will make sure to essentially nuke the fuses that he calls out. Now you kind of want to be doing this in one phase to obviously make this go super quick. Um, if you're doing this as fast as possible, you can do runs in maybe a minute, one minute, 30 seconds. And that's just free raid spoils. And obviously once you finish the encounter... You can obviously load up another checkpoint on another character and pretty much rinse and repeat. Now, obviously, there's a lot of players who probably don't want to do this because they'll get some red dot on their raid report and then start crying. But if you want to farm raid spoils, then honestly, just do this. It is by far the fastest way, I think. And it's just really efficient if you are looking after maybe different roles on your raid weapons. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And don't forget to go jump in the Discord, discord.gg slash Willis, if you want to enter that giveaway for the Silver and Beyond Light DLC. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. This has been Willis Gaming and peace.